Well, hello there, lads and lasses. I see that you've returned for a wee bit more insanity. Very well. Make it so. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at, first things first, a next-gen TIE Fighter. Let's have a look, see what we got here. We have four cannons in the middle, mounted on an aquatic diving bell. We got some thrusters, we can see some spinning happening in the back there. We got some stabilization. We got a bunch of uh, wing stabilizers in here, vertical stabilizers. On both sides, as well as some rockets. We got some hinges on the joints here, you'll notice. As well as our angle sensors doing their thing back here. Got a bunch of small sensor or thrusters and a bunch of big thrusters on the inside as well. Those are just spinning away doing their thing. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? So space bar is your vertical, W is forward. And then there's a combination of both while you're flying. So just space bar will take you straight up. Stable on its own, we'll have to, you have to uh, just throttle the space part. W. Makes you take off forward. And you'll notice when you hit W and you start moving forward, your uh, top wings fold out and your front side wings here actually rotate. So if we let off on W, Spacebar continues to lift us up. Left and right also has separate turning jets. So again, forward rotates the wings on the side, and the small guide wings also fold out as well. So this is just holding spacebar W and then tapping A or D to steer. Left shift opens up our four guns. Flying from this perspective here, not too bad. You can actually see your target. It's kind of loud, I imagine. But yeah, if you want to go up, you just let go of W, and you'll automatically raise up. Those automatically rotate back. And then when you want to go forward, if you want to go down, you just let go of the space bar. You'll keep moving forward, but you'll go down. So just a combination of the space bar and W, and uh, yeah, you can control your height. It has about 200 miles an hour maximum speed, but it's cool because it flies pretty straight, pretty stable, pretty easy to steer. Good in dogfights because of the stability. See, it turns so sharp you can clip into things. But it is totally landable as well. That's what's nice about it too, you do have the control to land it. For example, let's go up through this hoop of fire here. Whoa, okay, missed that a little too quick. Maybe up this one here. Down. Missed that one too, wow. Feathering the space bar will actually allow you to bring it down. Nice and easy, no damage. Just take off, forward. Off into combat. I'll be putting that on the shop. That is the next gen TIE Fighter. See, so we'll land it here. Does have air brakes too. Pushing S actually slows you down.
No problemo. Let's see what else we got. So this is the white water walker. I'll just hit number one. As you can see, simple controls on this puppy. Now, I've never seen anything else like this in Trail Makers yet. So I think it's the first of its kind. Uh, this will actually just walk on the surface of the water. I'll hit number one. That'll get us going. We'll start heading towards the surface. I'm not doing anything. I can steer left and right. As you can see, we got some fins in the back here for when we're in the water. And this will slowly take us up to the surface. I can rotate back and forth. It gets you up there a little quicker. But it's self-stabilizing. As you can see with all the helicopter engines up top here, the stabilizer in the back and in the front and the sides. And as we get up to the surface here, you'll see what makes it so cool. As we break the surface, it's totally doing 100 miles an hour. Everything's out of the water. Can't fly. Skims on the water real nice. You can actually turn. So you can see why I call it a white water walker. Just skims right on top. has pretty good control for something that has very little contact with the surface. Can skim across shallow. It probably wouldn't go across the dock. Ooh, 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 coke, turn, turn. Oh, jeez, wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Game over. <laughs> oh, yeah, now we're just in the diving bell. That's not going to do us any good. All right. Here we go. Number one. Back up we go. Yeah, shallow areas you can skim over top. As long as you're going fast enough when you hit it, it'll skim over top and stay level because of the self-stabilizing. But all kinds of fun. There's no weapons on it. You probably could put a couple of small cannons on it. There's nothing on it right now. You could probably mount a couple on there. You'd have to rebalance it a little bit probably, but the way it is right now, it is uploaded. So if you're interested in checking it out or trying to build something similar to this, let's see how tall we can make one. I'm trying to make a bigger one. Something maybe twice as tall as this that just sticks away out of the water just ridiculously. Also working on a couple of your suggestions. A big alien ship, I think, was one of them. I always love working on alien looking ships. Uh, working on a big double helicopter as well. I haven't decided what I'm going to put inside of it, what other vehicle I'm going to put inside of it. I plan to have a big chopper that releases another vehicle. Or maybe just some kind of payload, big weapons or guns. Let me know in the comment section down below what I should put inside a big heavy chopper. As far as a payload or a vehicle that comes out, a car that drives out would be too simple kind of looking for maybe you know drop a small jet which again would be kind of simple as well since how you're already in the air so maybe a payload of some big bombs or some uh some big cannons of some kind or something different maybe a big winch i've been working on a winch as well using a chain using now that our hinges can be free floating so yeah leave a comment in the section down below let me know which of these two you like best that's all i got for you today we're going to leave that one here thanks for watching thanks for tuning in Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.